So if you haven't yet, first of all, uh, these scaffold ETH challenges are, are a great place to get started as a builder in the space. And what we've done with the speed run is basically create a service that allows folks to get in and do this speed run where they're taking on these challenges. But you do it in a way where you sign in with your Web3 wallet. Oops. You sign in with your Web3 wallet and you kind of create like this portfolio of all the challenges you've taken. It's more social. It also allows us on the other side to see like who's building what and see a big list of, of builders and, and their portfolios and, and, you know, a nice activity feed and a bunch of other cool things. But this is this is kind of, again, going back to sometimes we do things in parallel. This is similar to D-Recruit. This is similar to D-Quests. So, so just wanting it to like get speedrun Ethereum on the radar uh, for, for builders and have you try it out if you haven't tried it out. Like this is a great way to get into the moonshot is to finish the speedrun and kind of show that at, uh, in the channel. And with these new folks that we have uh, joining, we're kind of scaling up to get ready to bring on a whole bunch more developers. So these these onboarding efforts, I think, will be pretty important uh, leading up to that. And and one kind of really cool innovation we've done just recently is that these are and Jason will be happy about this. We're not quite there, but these are auto graded now or very soon. So as people complete these quests, they basically go through the whole challenge and they turn in a, a fully working like decentralized app. And uh, that comes with a smart contract. And we have a service that's running in the background that takes these submissions and actually like interfaces with their smart contract and tries everything out and make sure it's gonna work. Make, yeah, so, so we have like auto grading built into speedrun Ethereum, which is wholly gonna, hopefully gonna help us like onboard more, more folks. It kind of exists in parallel to other efforts like D-Recruit and D-Grants. No, not D-Grants, D D-Recruit and D quests, I, I, there's a lot of them, but uh, uh, just just putting that on the radar. Uh, hope folks know about it. Help us build challenges. Help us build the speed run. Um, thanks. <laughs> I think it's so cool, Austin, is that you're onboarding developers into Ethereum, which is a public good for everyone in the Ethereum space, and you're bootstrapping this kind of like knowledge graph of who's good at what when it comes to developers in the space. And I think the intersection of that with recruiter party and what Gitcoin does, like the intersection is just obvious, especially in a world where we're building these small modular tools. So excited to check it out. Uh, I've got like 2018 era Ethereum development skills. I think I should take your speed run to get 2020 <laughs> ones. <laughs> the truffle, your truffle skills are so, so strong. <laughs> Dude, I truffle deploy so hard, yeah. Um, no, I'm on, I'm on hard hat. If it works. Give me, bit, give me a little bit of credit. I'm on hard hat these days. That's word. 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 That's great. Yeah, I, I think there's it, it just the, that's so cool that everybody's using the same toolkit too. Anytime that anybody picks up a scaffold ether, or any, anybody's has, has any of these different flavors of it, you know, right where the smart contracts are, you know, all the commands to deploy, you know how to do everything and anyone can hand it off to anyone. And that, that shared tool set is becoming like another piece of this like aha kind of composable kind of stack 